the wind whisper. That's Jesus. We talked about this this week, about how that when Jesus was there on a ship out of the water, and the disciples, they were, they were going, oh, Master, don't you care that we perish? I mean, he was sound asleep. Jesus, he said he's down there in the, in the bottom of the ship. He's got his head on a pillow. And he's, he's, he's taking in some much, much needed rest. And they go wake him up because of that storm. And uh, Jesus said, peace, be still. And then he, he told the disciples, he said, where is your faith? And, and that's remarkable to me, considering what they had just been doing, and that was conducting this huge crusade of people. Jesus is preaching from, from off of a ship just right offshore. Multitudes of people are there. All kinds of ministry taking place, because we know that. Because we know that there were people who were demonic and uh, they, they had dead demons and devils cast out of them. People were healed at these meetings. I mean, these meetings were just absolutely incredible. And here these disciples had experienced these things. I mean, they were there when he fed the multitudes, the, the 5,000, the 4,000. They'd seen all of this. And Jesus said, I'm going to put it in my words. He said, you guys are really something. I mean, you see, you hear, you experience, but you still have problems with your faith. But then I said to myself, well, so do I. So do I. I have problems sometimes believing when I should believe and, uh, and, and, uh, and just being firm in the things that I, I teach. And I've told somebody the other day, so sometimes a preacher just needs to practice what he preaches because I do believe in the power of God's ability to heal. I do believe that God has the authority over the demonic. He can cast out devils. I believe God can do all of those things. But I'm kind of like the man sometimes that came to Jesus with a little boy that wanted to keep, he had a devil in him, and he kept wanting to throw himself in the fire. You remember this? And uh, he brought him to the disciples, and they, they, they couldn't cast the devil out. And so finally they came brought him to Jesus, and Jesus just cast that devil out. And then Jesus said to the, the, to the father, or before this, he said, do you believe? And the man says, I believe, Lord, you know this, help my unbelief. You see, that's where we are because when we're talking about the parable, and that was what Jesus was teaching about at this great crusade. He was preaching the parable of the sower. And he said the first group of the seeds that were cast out were thrown by the wayside, and the birds came, and they ate the seed, and then later in his explanation to the disciples, he said, the, the seed is the word of God, and it was the devil. It was the devil that came and, and ate the seed. Well, see, that's just what I'm talking about. This man says, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Because basically what happens is a lot of times when we're confessing faith, even as we are confessing faith, doubt is in the back of our mind. And it just creeps in there. And of course, the doubt will bring defeat. And this is what Jesus says. says where, where is your faith? Where is your faith? And you see, the thing about it is that the more we exercise faith and the more we stand in faith and proclaim in faith, then the stronger our faith will be because it will grow those, those type of muscles that we need to make anything strong is when you use those muscles. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.